Okay, in this video, I'm gonna test the 4 lady e uh, valve body, specifically the actuator feed limit valve. 4 lady es have kind of a bad problem with respect to uh, bore wear in the AFL circuit. Uh, this valve likes to wear out, uh, especially when the unit's over like 100,000, maybe 125,000 miles. It's always best to check them. And uh, uh, a lot of problems, uh, both drivability issues as well as internal failures, um, you know, can be re uh, traced to a worn AFL valve. Now Sonics makes a kit uh, that allows you to remount the AFL valve in the event that it, uh, it's worn out. So that's this kit right here. So you can see that it's um, out of the Sure Cure kit. It's for 4L80s. And basically um, you ream the bore out to an oversized dimension and then you install the sleeve along with the updated valve. And that basically fixes it forever. So when the sleeve wears out, say 100,000 miles, you know, into the future, then you can just purchase a new uh, uh, sleeve and valve kit and install it. You don't have to, uh, you know, re-ream the bore or anything like that. It's just a one-time deal. So we'll do that with this valve body if it's no good. Um, if it's okay, then I won't. I mean, there's no reason to, but um, if in the event this, uh, you know, this uh, test passes for this particular valve body, then um, I have a stack of 480 E valve bodies. Some of them have been um, out of units, you know, well over 100,000 miles, or vehicles, I should say, uh, well over 100K. So I'm sure I could find one to demonstrate on. All right, Sonics tester, um, pretty straightforward deal. Uh, it uses vacuum to um, kind of test a, a given clutch circuit. Uh, or feed circuit and you know the more vacuum you have uh, the better it seals I mean that's basically it so turn it on want to make sure that the indicator is at zero and then just take your thumb and then you want to see that indicator read uh, at 25 So here is the AFL bore. It's going to be right next to the uh, PWN solenoid. So we're going to actually put our tester right over this circuit right here. All right, it looks like we're about 21, so I can focus in on it. Yep, 21 to the lift, so that's pretty good. In my opinion, it's not worth uh, going through the effort. Uh, if it was borderline 15, 16 inches, then I would do it. Um, but at 21 inches, it's, you know, this valve body is perfectly healthy. Um, there's a few other circuits in here you could test. Um, I don't see too many issues with uh, this valve body in general, or, you know, these four LED valve bodies, uh, other than the AFL bore. Um, the other valve that could give you trouble is the uh, torque converter clutch regulator valve. So this is the accumulator valve. This is your ship valves in here and then your torque converter clutch regulator valve let me zoom out the torque converter clutch regulator valve is going to be in here okay Sonix also has a replacement valve for that so it's always a good idea to install it uh, Transgo also has a valve in their shift kits so Either way, um, no matter what you do, you want to make sure that your valve body is healthy. So uh, if you do a lot of transmissions, having one of these Sonic testers along with just a garden variety air pump uh, is well worth the investment. All right, uh, that's the video. Uh, we'll disassemble this valve body, clean everything up, and then we'll reassemble it, all new solenoids, um, and then, you know, put it all together. All right, thanks for watching.